Okay guys, today we're going to look at how to take your flat boxes that you created in Photoshop or Illustrator or InDesign, however, whatever program you created in, and create a digital three-dimensional mock-up. Make it look like you actually printed this and photographed it to the best of your abilities. Um, so here we have this Bandit Bytes. This is what we're going to try to do today with a different file. We're going to look at this Old Nuts. So if I double click it, it's just a high resolution PDF right now. Um, so this one will work for us. Um, your first step is let's just create a brand new document, a new blank document. So we're going to go File, New, um, change that to Inches, and I'm going to I want to go, actually we could just go to Tabloid right there, that's what I want. I want 11 by 17 and I want a Landscape Orientation, 300 dots per inch is good, RGB color, everything else is fine. Hit Create, and that's what we have here. Um, so to do this, I'm just going to actually take the PDF that I have in a, in a folder, and I'm just going to drag it straight into here. And there's other ways you can bring it in. You can place it, co cotton, co copy and paste, whatever. But I'm just going to drag it straight in, which is kind of nice because it puts in there right in the middle. It's really good. And there we have it. Okay. Um, so let's build this thing. So let's uh, first of all, we're going to... Um, Set up our a center point. I'm going to go ahead and drag, make sure, Command R. I have my rulers on, Command R, back on. And the 8.5 is the center of the 17. Okay, and first of all, we'll start with the front. Um, I'm going to make a selection of just this area here. To help me out, I'm just going to quickly drag a guide, at least one guide, maybe to right here. And. I'm going to drag another one real quick. You don't necessarily have to, but I like to. It kind of helps me. I think those two are probably all I really need. And I'm going to grab this tool here, which is the uh, marquee um, selection tool. Get it right on there. Click, drag. And there's my cover right there. So let's go ahead and copy, paste. And I'm going to turn the main one off. Drag this one to the left side, holding shift while you do it. And we're going to put this thing in perspective now. So basically we're trying to get something about like this, okay? So we're gonna look for, try to get about that angle there. So kind of look at what we're looking at. It's not just snapping the something. Yeah, there we go, something. Along those lines, but well, he'll see here. Let's go. All right, how do we do it? Command T, free transform tool. And then before I click, I'm gonna hold Command, Option, Shift. That was gonna give me the uh, perspective abilities. It allowed it to put this thing into perspective. So I'm gonna go, if I remember correctly, maybe about like that, right there. And then it still doesn't look right. Once you do that, it's then it it looks it makes it look longer than it should be because this is in going back into space. But if it goes back into space, it also should be going to the left. So what I'm going to do, you can do it either way. I'm going to come, I'm actually going to hold on. I'll do it this side. Hold shift and drag it over to the left. And you're seeing the more I do it, the further away from the line, the top line is getting. So I'm just going to get it to about maybe right there looks pretty good. And then I'm actually command option shift, bring it back up to that line because I set that line up. So we'll just use it. And I think that looks pretty good. Let's kind of compare them. Um, yeah, not bad. Looks pretty good, I think. Uh, okay. We can always readjust it, so that's fine we'll, uh, if we don't like it. All right. So we are, we've started out. We got one piece down. Now we'll just come back and let's get this piece. Um, so now I'm going to come in here. Make a selection. Right about there. And make sure I'm on the right layer. Copy, paste this one. Um, okay. And you know what? I made a, a slight, slight mistake. No big deal. We're actually going to recopy the front one again. And you'll see why in a, in a little bit. So. I can get this one more time. Click on the right layer and copy paste that one. Okay. Let's turn the main one off. 
we'll go ahead and drag, we'll just turn this one off for now. We're gonna call this one front. All right, we'll call this one side. And this one front, P-A-R-S, front perspective, okay. Um, I'm gonna turn off the front one now. I'm gonna take the side one and holding shift, I'm gonna drag it over here and it should line up right nicely right there with the, with the other edge. And you can see that it's a little bit off. So actually I'm gonna command T and I'm just going to hold shift and there we go. All right, okay. So same thing applies now. We command T this one and we put it in perspective option. Command shift. Okay. There you go. And then drag it over, holding shift. Till we get something that looks like right. So you can always change it back. That looks pretty good. Gonna say okay to that. And look, these are look how nicely these angles or form fitting, actually they're a little bumpy. I'll just, there we go. I'd use my arrows and notch it down just a hair. It looks even better. And yeah, it looks like a box in perspective. Um, we're gonna take all these, click, hold shift, click, click, and we're gonna put them in a, in a group. And this is gonna be the front group. Okay, all right. So instead of reinventing the wheel to do the back, um, we're just going to take the front group now and copy it like so. And I'm going to drag this one over holding shift. Now, where am I going to drag it to? Let's um, establish that. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead with the midpoint we made earlier. I'm going to put that at eight, a uh, guy there at eight, and I'll put the other guy at nine. So basically, they're, all, they're both, the front and the back are going to be a half inch away from the center point. Holding shift, bring, bringing it back. There we go. Now, what the reason I do have two of them now is because I'm just going to use this one as a template to make my back. So we're just going to lower the opacity way down on this bad boy. Go ahead. If you wanted to, you could lock it. How do you lock these things? I don't lock them often. There you go. So right here, if you want to lock it, you don't really have to. I'm just going to make a new layer anyhow. All right. So there you go. You have um, our back template. So now, let's take this layer. Bring it to the top since we have things all in the way now. Oops. Undo. Put it inside the folder. There we go. Turn it back on. And let's do our back. So same thing applies. Grab the selection tool. I actually need to put... Put a guide right here to help me out. There we go. And select this. You know what? I probably do need a guide here because there's nothing here. Well, there it goes. Actually, these little smart guides are, are working for me. So we'll just use those. Okay, get rid of the buzz. Come on. Here we go. And we're going to copy, paste. And we're going to duplicate that one as well. Okay. Um, we might as well just go ahead and get the side too. So we'll just do it, get both since we're here. So we'll just go ahead and just make a selection. Hopefully our smart guides are gonna work for us again. Just there we go. I don't need to be over here on this edge because there's nothing here, so it doesn't really matter. There's no pixels here. If you turn off there you go. So I'll just go back to the main one, copy paste. Go ahead and turn the main one off. And we'll copy, we'll make a copy of that one. So you can go ahead now and turn off the copies. Go to the layer. And let's drag this one over, holding shift to here. All right, and then I'm just gonna use my arrows to nudge it right where it needs to be. Looking. And about right there. Okay. Um, so now we're just going to go Command T. Actually, lower the opacity down a little bit so we can see what we're doing. There we go. Command T. And we're going to just drag it, holding Shift, right over to the edge. There we go. 
and then hold command option shift and drag down There we have it. Exact same as that one. If I turn up my opacity, it's going to look good. Bam, got our back done. So now I'll go to the uh, side that we, we have, the layer we have on. Holding shift, bring it across. Should snap right on there. Bam, Command T, Command Option Shift, click, drag down. Actually, undo. Let's not do that way. Let's actually drag, hold shift and drag over first. Oops, I need to turn on the... I need to turn on my... Uh, where is it at? Um, hang on. There it is. Okay, I just hadn't gotten far enough yet. Command T, holding shift, there it is. It's almost there. Right to this line here. Command option shift. And there we go. All right, we can go ahead and turn off the front copy. We can actually just delete that one, throw away the front copy. Bam, we have our front and we have our back. Um, you can see I got a little white gap there. Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> if I zoom in, I don't, so that's fine. All right, so let's go back. We're trying to do something like this. Now, again, this is just me showing you. You guys can take this, do present this however you want. You could have bowls of cereal up here or maybe some nuts. I mean, you could do whatever you want. You could have squirrels running around. I don't care. It's a, really up to you as long as it's as professionally as you can produce it. So, um, you know, I'm just showing you this way. Don't feel like this is how you have to do it. This is really just to show you how to put it in perspective and all that if you're not really sure how. Okay, going back to mine. Uh, oh, let's go ahead and save it. Uh, save as. Let me just stick it on the desktop for now. Um, let's call it Oh Nuts. Um, so let's build a background. Okay, uh, how I did it on this one, I actually used a, a, an adjustment layer to get this um, thing. I'm gonna show you, here it is. We'll kind of just use that one. So I'm just gonna turn all these off. No, I'm not. There it is, my adjustment layer. It's in a, it's in a background folder. Um, you have to bear with me, I made this a while back, so I just gotta remember all the the things I did. Let's find, I'm trying to find this adjustment layer. Color fill two. There it is. It's this gradient fill. D double click it. So I made a gradient fill from like this darker purple color to like this gray color down here. So we'll play around with this one a little bit. Let's go back. Let's cancel that. Let's turn on everything again. There we go. Yikes. There we go. Okay. So let's do it. Let's build a little adjust a little um, gradient and. Instead of using a gradient tool, I'm just going to use an adjustment layer. So I'll come here and go to set a solid color. I'm going to go gradient. Solid color will work. Well, we may look at that as well. Uh, we don't want to use a gradient to nothing. We want a gradient to a color. So we should go to gradient and let's just look at basics here. We'll just look at good old black and white. We could even look at some of these, you know, blues, things like this. Uh, we're just going to go with a black and white here, okay? Because, uh, okay, so just too dark down here now. We hit OK. Double click it. And click the gradient. And then your gradient editor comes up. This is, like, this is where it allows me to um, change things. So if I click this one, and I go to this color, I'm going to turn it to like a, yeah, a little bit lighter. I'm just going to go with gray for right now. Something like this. Be a little bit warmer. I don't know. Do I want to go with the coolness to oppose the box? Yeah, we'll, yeah maybe that's the way I want to go. Okay, we'll leave, we'll stay with that. So, yeah, there we go. And then I hit OK there. And then I'm going to drag my white across and click here and add a color to the for the top. And there we go. Let's go with again 
darker color, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little darker than I went for the bottom. Um, and maybe even bring it over so it comes down more. You'll see that here. So we bring it down. There we go. Uh, I don't know. This one. Good enough for you. Okay. So there we have um, gradient just sitting on there. Now everything looks like it's kind of floating right now. So we have to ground this thing. Okay. Um, so we're going to go up here. I'm actually going to go back. Hit OK here. Let's hit OK somewhere. There we go. Click. OK. All right. Click. Hold Shift. Click. And make a new folder. And this is the back. And I'm actually going to move it because I like my front in front of my back. All right. Um, let's go back to the front folder. And let's uh, make this thing look more three-dimensional by establishing a light source. The light source that I is going to be hitting here. If you look at this one. You see that this is darker here and here than it is here. So we're going to do the same thing here. Oh, it's really cool and simple. Hit your side. Go to hue saturation. And just dark. Hit the dark. And you see it's darkening everything below it. So if you remember to how to make an um, adjustment layer operate only on one layer, the, the trick is to pay, take your mouse right here you're right between them, hold the option key and click. And now it's only affecting the side. Look how much nicer that looks. It's looking like it's three dimensional. So I can make this as dark as I want. Um, yeah, that's pretty good right there. We'll go with something like that. Um, you can remember I use negative 29. You can do that. Or you sh can copy this over to the next one. And sometimes this works for me, sometimes it doesn't. I hold it here and I'm going to hold option. Nope. We'll try it. There we go. A whole option and drag down. This doesn't always work for me. It's almost like you got to time it or something. And I'm going to click there. And nothing happened. Let's try it again. Again, I tell you. Okay. So, no, nope, that didn't work. But see, it says it's copying. And when it shows me the... Let me just... See, that should be copying. It. And it's not. So, forget it. I'll just go back and make a new one. So, we just go hue saturation. I remember it was 29, so you just like type a 29 there, negative 29, sorry, and there we go, and then now attach it. I don't know why I couldn't copy it, but okay. All right, now already it looks better. It looks more three-dimensional. So let's see what we did over in the yellow. I feel like it should have actually come in a little bit more on my size. My, my box looks a little long this way, but we're all worried about that. Actually, let's fix it. So I'm going to try to fix it. Um, let's go to my front perspective. Command T. Hold Shift. Let's see if I bring this over a little bit more. That is better. All right. And I'm just going to take, go back to my back now. I'm going to grab this one. I'm just going to move it back over here to this guy, holding Shift. Command T, hold Shift, and bam. And then I say OK. Then I'm just going to hold Shift and move him right back. So, yeah, I was, you know, that's what I mean. You guys, you got to, you know, don't settle. If they don't look right, make it right. So I figure like this looks better. OK. So, looking over here, Bandit Bites. Her box looks like it's longer. Um, okay, now let's ground this thing. The easiest way to ground it is to um, put a shadow on there. Shadows really ground things. And when you're putting a shadow on something like this, you don't use a drop shadow or anything like that. You paint this on here. So I'm just gonna go ahead, close this, close this, go above my gradient fill, make a new layer and call this shadow. Okay, and I'm going to grab my brush tool. I'm not going to use a lip brush. Go to my top general brushes. Grab the soft round. Lower the opacity way down. And I'm just going to do this with a mouse in case you guys don't have a stylus. I'm going to make it pretty big at about 22%. And I'm going to sample some of the color here. And just start painting. Already, it looks more grounded than before. Um, 
from my experience, I like to give a little shadow under day. So I made my brush much smaller, you can see, using my brackets. I always feel just touching a little shadow down here will actually help make it ground this thing. So give it just a touch of there. Not much. All right. Bring that over. So I usually shadow it up pretty good like this. And then I usually will come in and grab my eraser. Yes, not masking, but using the actual eraser. You could mask it, but and then I'll let it about 15%. And I usually soften it up a little bit here and there. So here we go. Maybe you come in and this edge here. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Um, nice. Look, already looks so much more grounded. So then, instead of redoing the whole shadow thing, they're basically the same. I'll just copy that shadow layer. Hold shift, drag it over to this side. Until it looks pretty good. And you can see I got a little weirdness happening right there. So let's get my eraser out. And take care of that business there. Maybe bump, jump up my opacity. And there we go. All right. Bam, two cereal boxes. Um, looking pretty good. You can, I'm going to go ahead and group these two um, shadows because I'm, I'm happy with them. You don't have to, but I'm going to click on the top one and I'm going to hit Command E. And now I just have one shadow layer and that merges my layers. All right, so let's get a little bit more fancy with the whole thing. Um, let's put a reflection on there. This makes it look really cool. So we're gonna, remember when we saved the sides and the fronts all that earlier? Well, we're gonna use them now. Actually, I didn't save a side here, but I'm sorry. We're gonna turn on the front. All right, and let's move it over here. Holding shift. Okay, Command T. Oops, sorry. Did I not move it? I thought I did. Hit Command T, and I'm going to hold Shift, and I'm going to rotate it around. Hold Shift, bring it down. Now this is not a good reflection because look, the blue is over on this side. It should be over on this side. So um, Free Transform can do what I'm going to do, but I'm not going to use it for this. Instead, I'm going to go up to Edit, Transform, and Flip Horizontal. Whew. Now my blue is where it should be. Okay. Um, now at this point, I'm just going to Command T again, hold Shift, and bring it over there, line it up nicely, and then you're going to hold just the com Command key and then bring it up to here. Okay, and you're thinking, oh, that looks good, that's great, but you look, these O's don't match up with these O's. See, there's little, there's dis there's problems. So to fix that, we come here, hold command, and we just holding and command and shift. That way I don't get off. It stays nice and straight. And there we go. Much better. Now everything's reflecting. Okay. Um, now, the, you know, we'll just take this and we can do a couple things. We lower the opacity down. Lower it way down to about like that. You could blur it if you want to. Um, I'm not going to. Well, maybe we will. Let's go ahead and... Uh, do the side too. Now look, I forgot to copy the side. So this, I need that flat side. I could use this one, but it's easier if I actually have the side that hasn't been unmolested. So I'm just going to crank it, click this back on, and go back and get that side again. And I'm just going to quickly grab this. All right, there we go. Make sure I'm on the right layer. Copy, paste. Turn that layer off. Okay. Command T, hold shift, and then edit, transform, flip horizontal, and repeat the steps I just did. Go down here. The smart guys are really helpful. They're really doing a good job for this. Uh, hold shift, drag it over till the smart guy says it's lining up. I'm zooming out so I can figure this thing out. Um, hold command and shift, bring it up. And then look at it. 
can see it's close, not quite there. It's getting really hard to adjust this thing because the thing's so far down. We're going to do our best. Come on, move. All right, I'm going to change my view to, I'm going to try to change my view. No, I'm not, not until I say okay. Actually, that's pretty good. Command T, we just need to bump it just a little bit. It's not letting me move it up. View, screen mode, I'm going to go full screen mode with menu bar. Now I can zoom, now I can, there we go. Now it lets me scroll it up, holding shift, just a, oops, holding command. And shift, there we go, just a little bit. It's not doing anything. I'm on the wrong layer. Hang on. V, control, layer three. That's the layer. Command T. Command. There we go. Now it's moving. And it doesn't even move much. That's good right there. All right. Uh, I don't know what the opacity was for the front that we made it. Let's see. I can't remember. So front. 16%, so just go back to this side, and 16%. There we go. And we have nice shadows, or uh, yeah, reflections. Uh, we'll take these reflections, put them together, and put them in a group. Okay. So from this group, I could, let's see if I can blur the whole group. Let's try that. I'm going to filter, convert for smart filters. It, it, so it, it merged them together to make it just one. That's fine. So again, we could, we could go filter blur if we wanted to, Gaussian blur. Yeah, it's something like that. You know, if you want to, I don't know. It's up to you. I don't, yeah, a little blur might be nice. I mean, how little, I like it pretty much almost non-existent. It's maybe a one blur there. You could, at this point, put a mask on it and then grab your your uh, your brush. And my cap locks is on, so I can't see my brush. There we go. And on this mask, maybe lower my opacity down. There we go. And maybe just mask out the further away from the box you get, the less reflection you're going to see. So I softly mask that out. Now, I'm not going to do the one over here again for you, you guys. You know, go through those steps. And it's the exact same thing. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now let's go back to. Oh, I'm going to change my view back to the standard screen view. And there we go. So now let's um, play with some color back there. So we're going to above shadow now. I'm going to go. Actually, let's put it below shadow. Let me show you this. Check this out. Let's just what what happens if we make this just a solid color? So we're gonna go solid color. And let's get something. Actually, we'll try something. We'll try a bunch of different ones. Um so click there and then just drag and see what was working. Let's see. Ooh, the blues are kind of cool because it's the opposite of the orange. Let's go with like yeah, so you could even sample the actual color itself. Hit OK. And I need to actually put it below the shadow. Here we go. Now look at the shadows. They look okay. But if you turn them to multiply, they're going to look much nicer. There we go. Much richer. So even that's looking pretty good. Uh, I have too much space up here as opposed to here. So at some point I probably should bring everything up. So let's just do that real quick. From shadow to here. Just kind of hold shift. Bring everything up a little bit. There we go. That's better. You definitely would want more space here. Oops, sorry. You'd either want a more equal or more space here than here. Much better right there. All right. Um, so great, it even looks good solid. Or we take the solid color and we start looking at layer modes. And now we're blending it with that what we had. Definitely kind of cool. Um, no, 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 definitely not. Overlays are kind of cool. Soft light, it's really kind of cool. So, you know, now we're combining the two. You know, do you lower the opacity down? Use a little bit of this. So all kinds of ways to make this thing look good. Um, let's see if I forgot anything. Let's look here. Well, just real quick, you can see actually I put trees on this one because, you know, I'm thinking it's outdoors and stuff. And the trees, all it is, um, 
it is, I'm going to make it normal. It's a, it's a layer that's been set to overlay at a passive 27% with a Gaussian blur. If I turn the blur off, you'll see that's my trees. And this is what they look at, look like normal. So normal at 100% is just black. So I just put a layer of black trees back here and I made some adjustments. Um, so the adjustments again were, I can't remember what they were, 27% set to overlay. And then with a little bit of blurriness to push it back. Um, oh yeah, one last thing I actually kind of did here on the, let's see, I think it was the background. See, I put a little bit of white light right here, layer 10, set at 51. So if you see it at an overlay, so normal. It's just, I just hit it with a with a airbrush. So I overlaid that. And it just gives a little bit of a shine, shine to the surface there. You know, play with the opacity. I think I put some on the box themselves as well, if I remember correctly. Um, box mock-ups, let's see, front, front. Yeah, see I put a little bit of white right there. I don't know if I actually like that, honestly. And that, that is also set to overlay. You can play with the different modes. So, yeah, I don't, I like hard, I like soft light, I think stronger. So maybe I set that to soft light. So that's something you can do as well on here. You know, if you wanted to, like I said, you could come in here now and make always make a new layer. You know, just go white, just go pure white right here, and there we go, something like that. And then, then play with the layer modes. You can make it more rich by using the layer modes. Quite honestly, yeah. Maybe overlay at best. It's not. It's a little tiny thing. I don't know if it even needs it. So just something to think about. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. So I know it was a lot to take in, but it's actually pretty simple. Once you get the hang of the command T and doing this kind of thing with it, and just making it look right. I'm giving you these files so you could use these. Um, you know, kind of look at how I did it, go through this, and uh, help you make your own. All right, stay safe. Bye.